Hello friends, hope you are all doing great. Let's jump into our today's session. Let me ask you a question. What are the three things that is required before we enter into a trade? Yes, you are right. Number one, we need an entry point. Number two, we need a target. Number three, we need a stop loss. Why stop loss is that significant in trading? Trading is a business. Hope you all agree. This is also a kind of business, right? If you are not considering this as a business, at least from now on, I request you all to consider this as a business. Take it seriously. I know you are all considering this seriously, but just just reiterating. All right. So now, for any business, there are expenses, right? Like there are administrative expenses, employee salaries to be paid, rental expenses, etc. But for trading, what is the expenses we have? If anybody has a laptop, they can start trading. The expenses in trading business is a losses we incur. As I said, for the traditional business, to the, if if the business has to be profitable, the expenses has to be reduced, right? It should be the least as possible. Similarly, in the trading business, if you want to be very successful, the expenses should be very low. What is the expenses in trading business? Right. Losses are lo losses are our expenses. It's the cost, right? We all know there are there is concept of stop loss here in trading. Right? For example, here we have Nvidia. In Nvidia, I have three points before I enter this trade. When the price was around 425, I said the entry should be 430, target should be 466, stop loss should be 470. Okay. So when when the price is at 425 or price is at 430, when I Mention the stop loss as 417, that makes sense. Right? Now, always uh, the price may not go as expected in the stock market. Nobody can predict the stock market. Right? So, when when the when this box breakout happened, it, it go in upward direction as predicted or it may be a fake out and it may reverse. When it reverses, stop losses will help us to control or limit our loss. When the price is at 430 and when the stop loss is at 470, it's okay if, if the loss is around $13. But right now, the price is at 451. Do I still need to honor 417 as the stop loss? If I still maintain the stop loss as 417, what happens if, if price, instead of going upwards, if it reverses, so for whatever the reason it may be, I'm going to lose the profit I made this uh, from 430 to 451. On top of that, I'm going to make a loss as well. Right? For when, when I am entering this trade, at four hundred and thirty dollars, this four hundred and seventeen is valid and makes sense. When the price is right now at four hundred and fifty, now this four hundred and seventeen doesn't make sense. Four hundred and seventeen stop loss doesn't make sense. So in this kind of situation, trailing stop loss will help us. This will be handy. Okay? The normal stop loss will be a horizontal line. 
trailing stop loss will be a diagonal line. Let, let us see with another example. Spotify. For Spotify, what happened? I entered the entered this trade around $180 and I set my target target as $205. Right? So when the target is hit, what happened? I close if, if you would have closed the trade at 205, I would have missed this opportunity till $280 or whatever it is. So instead of closing at $205, I maintained a trailing stop loss. Instead of drawing a horizontal line as stop loss, I drew a diagonal line. So what happened, you see, at 205, at 205, when the price is at 205, my stop loss is 195. When price is at 226, my stop loss is at 216. What 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 do we see here? When prices move up higher, my stop loss travels with the price, increases with the price. Okay. So with this trailing stop loss, when when I close the trade at 260 or 258. So without stop loss, if I would have closed the trade at 206, 205, I would have lost this much of money. Right? You understand the significance of uh, trailing stop loss here? So normally, we uh, or I place trailing stop loss after hitting the target. Okay. So, but when the price is 205, I, I drew my stop, uh, trailing stop loss at 195. How, how did I derive that number? When price is 205, my trailing stop loss is 195. When price is 215, my trailing stop loss is 205. And when my price is 225, my trailing stop loss is 215. Right? How, how did I derive that number? So that particular situation, we use this indicator called ATR. Already I explained about ATR in one of my past video. ATR means average true range. It will give you the average of average volatility for past 14 days. Okay. When the price was around 205, what was the average true range? $10. So when the price was 205, my trailing stop loss is 205 minus 10, 195. Right. Now, now you got how I drew this trailing stop loss. Right? There is a saying in the market that we need to cut our losses and run our profits. Cut our losses, you know. With our stop loss, we can cut our losses. But how to run our profits? This is the way we run our profit. This is a technique normally used by experts. Just thought of sharing with you, which will be helpful for all the novice people. If you like this video, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. If you see value in this video, share with your friends. Thank you all. See you with another video. Bye-bye.